Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications at the Gotham Expo. We got Ben from Shore here. Ben, how you doing? I'm good. Glad to be here. Good. Thanks for being here. Um, so we got a, a bunch of things to, to chat about. Yeah. Um, I know there's some new stuff, and we wanted to talk a little bit about the integration with the ADX5 transmitter. Right. So I'm going to step out of the way and have you step forward sure. so that we can see this. Yeah, so uh, of course our ADX5 portable um, is, uh, is relatively new, uh, and we've recently partnered with Aton and Sound Devices to do integration. So um, we can actually do things like scan and control serve receivers right from the GUI of either the sound devices and the Aton. This opens up some possibilities of like visualizing the RF scan of a little bit larger LCD. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's part of your workflow is like you like to see things visually in a little bit bigger format and you already have this on the cart, so why not? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're excited about that. We've been partnering with both companies to get the hooks to make that happen mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's pretty much as expected uh, if you want to use it with either device. Yeah. Okay, do you want to give us a quick tutorial on the, um, the Sure, I'm like far from an expert on it. Like okay. I got to play with it like a couple uh, weeks ago, but uh, what we're seeing right here is like uh, just doing an RF scan uh, from the sound devices uh, with the ADX5 uh, D here. And uh, you can basically pick a frequency and scan and then push that frequency directly to uh, the ADX 5D. Also, like things like battery life and all that will be, you know, visible on the screen and quite, quite up front and in your face. So, uh, again, like I, I'm pretty much will fumble around with this because I'm far from a, an expert on the recorder side Got of it. things. But uh, actually, it's been great. A lot of users have come up and been like, like really quick with it and showing me a few things. Uh -huh. so. Uh, same thing with the Aton, like uh, you got the, uh, the, you know, the RF, the, the sound, you see everything going on, the battery life in, in uh, bars and percent. You can change just about almost all the features that you normally would change on the device itself, but right from the GUI. And then you can also do a full function scan, uh, like right on the GUI and pick open frequencies. So it's a, it's a welcome feature and I think maybe, I hate to say, but somewhat expected of us that we would do that. And, uh -huh. and we're glad to, to provide that. So. Yeah, I know you guys have, you're already integrated with Yamaha. Correct. And the QL5 yeah. and that and all those series. Yeah. And that is super useful. Yeah, it's nice to have that visibility on the faders and mm -hmm. everything right at your fingertips. Yeah, so. speaking from experience. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's new on firmware for the ADX5 and for the sound devices and Atom. Correct. There's right? firmware updates on both, which are publicly available. The latest greatest for ADX 5D will enable this, uh, mm -hmm. and you do get the latest greatest from both Aton and sound devices to make this all work. Today. Uh, that does not include show link capability, right? That's Correct. still a separate uh, it, thing. This, uh, this version here will not uh, do show link when uh, there is communication between the devices. So, Got it. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's step over here a little bit and just take a look at these because we haven't, we don't really see these all that often. But uh, tell me about these uh, these Q5X things. That doesn't seem to be a Shure system. Correct. But tell me about it. So uh, this is a partnership again with Q5X and Shure. And historically, Q5X has been very uh, popular with their Player Mic series. Mm -hmm. uh, these are like the ones sewed into basketball or hockey jerseys, and they're extremely flexible. Uh, they have an integrated battery. They're very uh, water resistant, and um, even the they're designed to be landed on and not hurt the player. So uh, these have been around for a long time for analog, and typically Q5X would suggest you use another brand's analog receiver to receive it. But everything's going digital. We created a module with Q5X to bring Axion Digital compatible player mic stuff uh, with Axion Digital. So what that means is you can get the small form factor and it's Axiom Digital compatible with both our quads, duals, and ADX 5D. This is the four hour player mic version. We have an eight hour battery if you want a, something a little bit uh, more uh, runtime. Same kind of rubberized form factor, super soft. And then what's really cool for especially location use is the Aqua mic. This is a, a completely submersible uh, Axiom Digital compatible uh, Q5X microphone. And it's all buttoned up. You can go diving with this, it's no problem. Um, one thing, they do have remote control, although it is a little bit different than what we do with Showlink. They have, uh, Q5X has their own protocol for 2.4 remote control mm -hmm. via a mic commander, which is an external module, and they have their own version of software. So they're not, uh, you know, 
Showlink compatible as far as with the Sure ecosystem, but they are actually digital completely compatible, but you would use a Q5X controller to remote control. I mean, you can do stuff like put them to sleep with heartbeat mode and wake them up. There's some really cool applications with these, like burying them in golf cups on the courses to hear the sound of the ball going in. And, and like, the sky's the limit. If you need like a real tiny plant microphone, uh, these are wonderful devices. Uh, just for comparison, our beloved micro body pack is about this big and the player mic is just, you know, you can see it's a little bit more svelte, a uh, little bit smaller form factor and all that. So just, uh, just a little bit of a size comparison with the two. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that's the new. Is there anything else new that you want to tell me about before I ask you to show me something uh, fancy? Sure. So uh, the only other kind of new things, and we're going to talk about this in a few weeks, but the uh, we brought party dial functionality to ADX 5D. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really cool because not only can you can flip through a custom group of frequencies, uh, when you're flipping through them, you can get the unique identifier from each pack. So if you take the time to name each uh, talent's pack via their name or their role or whatever, they'll pop up on the ADX 5D screen while you're scrolling through it. So that's a welcome addition and uh, everybody's been asking for party dial quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in addition to that, we revised the menu a little bit and uh, enhanced some custom group functionality to make that all possible. Do you want to show me what that looks like in terms of party dialing? Is oh, sure. Yeah, let's see. On uh, so on the party dial mode uh, on the ADX 5D, um, it's pretty, it's quite easy to use. So you go into uh, the device configuration and that's the first menu here called party dial. When you activate it, it'll let you know that it's going to turn off encryption, turn off frequency diversity, unregistered transmitters, all that, because again, this is designed so that you can have multiple receivers listening to the same transmitter. Uh, reality TV, you're chasing around a bunch of actors or participants and you have more transmitters than you have channels available. So this is perfect. So we do that, <coughs> excuse me. And then in party dial, you have a group and a channel that you can select to flip through uh, the different frequencies. Now, this is where the custom groups come into play. What you would do with a custom group is you go back out to your uh, channel one, for example, and uh, channel one, I will choose a group uh, on the radio. And instead of just using the uh, built-in groups or whatnot, one, two, three, four, five, there's user groups. And uh, Nick and I just put some custom frequencies in here right before the shoot. So we go to user group two, for example, I can go there. And then once that's selected, if I go back to the party dial uh, functionality, and uh, that's in device configuration, party dial, now it's in group two and it's channel one. And if I flip through these different channels, just like by uppering, up or down, it'll cycle through and be able to pick off each one of those really quickly. One of the a really cool functionality that we see is kind of unique to the Sure, is that uh, we have a thing called a device ID, which is actually a unique name uh, for each transmitter. And if you name it what the actor or the participant's name is on the show, this will pop right up. So as you're scrolling through your frequency list, uh, you can see that name pop up and you know exactly who it is rather than just, you know, a frequency number, which is wonderful. Uh, so that's all cool. And you can you know do both channels very quickly back and forth uh, to, you know, follow the talent around and, and capture it. Uh, you can also share groups really easy and uh, create your own custom list uh, quite easily in, uh, as well. So very cool functionality and we're glad to provide it, yeah. Awesome. Um, is there anything else new and exciting that you'd like to, um, you'd like to show? Oh, uh, geez, there's so, so many things happening. Um, I don't know, that's, uh, that's kind of the, the latest greatest. Uh, okay. We're getting a lot of questions about the ADX 5D lately and what it can do and show link and all that stuff. And uh, just, uh, I don't know, I find it really interesting. You know, we make the products, but just seeing what individuals do with it is just mind blowing of like yeah. how it's being used. So. Yeah, we're cool. psyched. Um, really cool. Oh, yeah. So one thing that I uh, want to show off that we've got set up here is we are using Sure Axiant. Uh -huh. uh, that's, wait, hold on. It's in my pocket, so you can't see it. Uh -huh. But we're using Sure Axiant Digital. You have one, too. I don't, do. Yeah. Don't pretend like you don't know. <laughs> uh, but one thing that's cool is I've got this fob. Um, so this fob, uh, this fob um, allows me to push a button here it activates a different output on the Shure ADX5. So if I push this button, I'm gonna to go to the comm system rather than over air. So if I push this button and say, hey Peter, get an extreme close up of my nose. Uh, <laughs> Peter will do it, but no you couldn't hear me. And Peter says, no one wants to be tortured with an extreme close up of my nose. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but if you do have you know, somebody that's on camera, or for some reason, uh, a boom operator 
uh, that you know is is booming, yeah. and then all of a sudden they need to be uh, they want to do private line using the boom. They can use the fob, and then they will not go to air, which is what I just said because you couldn't hear me because I was pushing the button. That's awesome. I uh, love the use case of that. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. There's a lot of different um, things with it. Clearly, we're using it today. Absolutely. Um, all right. I was going to ask you to show me something fancy here. I feel like it's too much. That's fine. So let's plug the seminar that you're having. Sure. So there will be a, a fully function uh, webinar on the 18th and 19th of this month. Uh, you can register at share.com. Uh, one day will be for sound devices. One day will be for Aton. Um, mm -hmm. And then we're also going to go over some of the use cases for custom groups, why they're cool, why you should use them, party dial, mm -hmm. and how to set that all up. So uh, we'll do a really deep dive into that and, uh, and make that all make that all happen. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So register on share.com the 19th and 20th. Is that uh, what you 18th said? and 19th. 18th and 19th. Yeah, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, any questions from the, the interwebs? All right. No questions on the interweb? Ben, thank you so much for being here with us. Pleasure. Um, I should mention that we uh, at Gotham are huge proponents of demos. So if it's something that you're interested in learning more about how the Shure system works, the ADX5, the AD4Q, the ADX1, the ADX1M, we have all those in our demo inventory. Please contact us and we'll send a, a week demo for you. Um, and as always, if you want to watch this video or others, you can visit us at gothamsound.tv. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest updates. And uh, you can email us at info at gothamsound.com with any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, ben, thank you again. A pleasure. And we'll talk to you soon. Yes. All right, take care.